Hi there, Taurus. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am going to be doing your weekly reading for August 28th through September 3rd. This is, I generally do love readings. We will see what comes up. Thank you to all my subscribers, watchers, likes, and comments. I appreciate that, and all the bookings. This is for Taurus, the 28th through September 3rd. August 28th through September 3rd. What do you have for Taurus? So here we have the Empress. This probably represents you being very kind, nurturing, caring, um, <clears throat> just living in your beauty at the beginning of the week. I think that you're, you know, being the kind, beautiful soul that you are. And that's, a, you know, that's at the beginning of the week that you're just, you know, enjoying life. Here we have a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is some kind of happiness. This is like a commitment or a gathering. Okay. This is the Temperance card. The temperance is about um, patience. Um, it's about balance and moderation. Uh, it's also a Sagittarius, all right? This is leaving something behind, okay? So this is about, um, it's also about healing, all right? There's going to be some heartbreak this week, and I'm not sure what it is, but it feels like there's some kind of loss or regret or regrets about something. Maybe there's there was some imbalance somewhere, um, but I, I see that somebody is letting go, all right? And the, maybe they're letting go of the need to control or something like that. Um, All right, okay, so here we have um, this right here. Somebody is definitely being let go, okay, or something. You are definitely letting go of something. This is, uh, is letting go of a burden. Something is finally going away, okay. This is um, leaving something behind, something that was probably shady, leaving some shady situation behind, and it's making a final decision. You know, something has become final. You know, it's really finally over between somebody. It could be an Aries, you know, an Aries person or somebody that was very controlling. It looks like you're going to be definitely leaving them behind or they're going to be, you know, leaving you behind. Here we have the Nine of Cups. Luckily, it leads to your wishes being fulfilled in the, in the end. It does. Um, you know, you could be going to some kind of gathering, some kind of, this was the, this week is September, uh, August 28th through the, the, the 3rd, you could be going to a wedding, a marriage, something, you know, a gathering where there's a lot of people, um, that could be, um, there you might, somebody could be there that has been curious about you, that you don't know about, uh, could be somebody from your past. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius a couple times. We have um, you, which is Taurus. We also have an Aries. We have a Libra, again. Um, I see that there's definitely been some... some um, challenges okay there's been some challenges and i think that, that there's been some control like somebody has been had control over you in some way okay and you are letting them go or something they're letting you are letting them go all right i see that there's um a need to rebalance over some some hurt you, you know you might be going through some hurt this week and you're going to need time to heal you're going to need time to rebalance your life. Um, 
something is going to become definite okay something is going to become definite um, and it has to do with um, heartbreak okay it has to do with heartbreak but it does lead to your wishes being fulfilled so maybe it's you have been waiting for this to become definite you know you've been waiting for the finality of something okay because perhaps maybe now you realize that there's other choices out there for you perhaps you're starting to love yourself more you're starting to have more grace you're starting to have more inner strength okay and perhaps, you know, somebody who had cut you down, who had took control, who had maybe belittled you, you know, you're like, I'm, I'm just going to um, let go of that, okay? Um, I see that it has to do with a commitment of some sort, you know. It, I need to get some more cards. I see that there's some kind of uh, commitment up there, but that could be you just going to some gathering where you're going to meet somebody um, that helps you to be uh, make something final, okay? Somebody else could be curious about you. They could be another choice that you might have, okay, that you haven't been considering, all right? And it could be somebody from your past, Okay, but you need to let go of somebody else first. I think that's what it is. I mean, maybe there's a, uh, I don't know, maybe there's a funeral. And I hate to say that, but this is a gathering, which is heartbreak, which makes something final. Okay, and this is a, uh, this is a Aries person or somebody you know, that is controlling. You know, it doesn't have to be a literal funeral. It can be a funeral of a relationship. Okay? It can be the death of a relationship. Death of a commitment. That you're letting go of. Now, you have this one twice, okay? So there's definitely been some deceit somewhere. There's been some deceit. And it's going, it's cut, and there's been some lies. There's been some, somebody has been like manipulating you, okay? And it's been, you're, ta you're ready to just be done with it. To just be done with it, okay? Because you realize that there's other choices. You're about to cut the freaking cord, to somebody that you were long term like committed to. You're about to cut the cord and that sucks. But it does bring happiness. It does bring happiness. It brings balance back to your life. There's a happy ending, okay? Where your self-respect comes back and your self-confidence. And your kindness and your nurturing. You know, because um, this is you. This is you. Um, it does. It brings back your beauty. It brings back your beauty. It brings back your yourself, your soul. You know, it brings you back. This, this, when you cut the cord, it brings you back to happiness. All right. brings you back to vibrance okay this is the queen of wands okay this is you so you're going to be taking on all different kinds of energies you're going to start feeling excitement again you're going to start feeling self-confident you're going to start feeling self-worth you're going to start feeling really good i'm sorry about that i had to push pause for a minute i don't know if i'm going to be able to edit that out uh <laughs> I, I hate to start this one over because it's such a good reading. Um, so I'm going to let it go and hope you guys don't jump out of your seats. Um, yeah, so I have a pit bull and somebody knocked on the door. So, you know, that's what it is. So anyway, I see that your excitement comes back. All right. The love, your confidence, okay, your self-worth, your self-respect is coming back. So I see that this is what this week is about. This week is about letting go of somebody. Perhaps, um, you know, it's somebody that has 
been trying to control you or manipulating you or whatnot. But as soon as you cut the cord, you know, you really cut the cord. And that means emotionally you have to like take the scissors and cut the cord. Okay? Completely. You happiness comes. You come back to your regular self. You bring your, your vibrancy back. You bring your beauty back. You know, you start to feel whole again. All right? So I, that's what I have. I mean, that's what I have for you. Um, you know, if you do go to a gathering, there could be somebody from the past because we have this somebody from the past. We have this gathering up here. But I see that you have to let go first of somebody. All right. Um, now, this gathering could be any kind of gathering. could be a wedding. could be anything. Any gathering where there's a lot of people. All right. Um, so this may or may not resonate with you. Um, if it doesn't, then so be it. If it does, great. Um, yeah, that's what I have. Sorry about the dog. Um, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to start over because I think it was. A, it felt like it was a really good reading. <laughs>